Hello everyone and welcome to the next video on the graphs of the basic relationships. In this video, I will limit the talk to the kinds of relationships whose graphs are straight lines. And we refer to them as linear relationships. The word linear comes from analogy with uh, the geometric application of such equations. Uh, and because the graphs of such equations appear as straight lines, we refer to them as linear relationships. Now, when it comes to linear relationships, uh, they can come from the single operation relationships of direct superposition with the equation y equals k plus x, and of course k is a constant. Uh, it could be an inverse superposition kind of relationship with the equation y equals k minus x, with k being a constant. Or direct proportion problems with the equation y equals kx, with k being a constant. Uh, once we get to inverse proportion, the graph becomes nonlinear. And so you can think of inverse proportion problems as perhaps the simplest kinds of nonlinear problems that you may come across. Now, in addition to the three basic relationships of direct superposition, inverse superposition, and direct proportion, any combination of these three will also uh, appear as a straight line. Uh, such combinations have equations of the form y equals mx plus b with m and b being constants. Now I would like to mention uh, that uh, y equals mx plus b is not the most general form of the equation of a uh, straight line. Uh, it does not capture vertical lines. And, uh, and there is an equation that's, most, that's more general. Uh, this equation is ax plus by plus c is equal to zero with a, b, and c being constants. And by changing the values of a, b, and c, uh, you end up with different kinds of lines. Uh, but y equals mx plus b is perhaps the most useful uh, form of the uh, linear relationship in practice. Vertical lines do appear from time to time, uh, but you'll find that by and large, uh, the kinds of equations that you'll come across uh, are the ones that are not vertical. And for these ones, the equation y equals mx plus b always works. Okay, now uh, let's take a look at each of these uh, single operation relationships in turn, and then we'll uh, talk about how uh, we can combine them uh, to generate uh, the general kind of linear relationship that we see. As far as uh, single operation relationships go, for direct superposition, the equation is y equals k plus x, with k, of course, being a constant. Uh, here we have uh, an example of such a relationship with k being 1, y equals 1 plus x. Uh, and you notice that the equation, that the graph uh, of the equation is a straight line. Now for such graphs, uh, the, the line goes up at 45 degrees. Uh, and that's sort of expected because uh, x and y increase and decrease by the same amounts. Uh, now for the 45 degree angle to show itself, you have to make sure that you have equal sized units on the x and the y axes. Uh, if the units are not of the same size, then your graph will either become squashed, compressed, or it becomes uh, dilated uh, or elongated, if you like. Uh, and in, uh, in both cases, the angle will not show as 45 degrees. The slope of such a line uh, is 1. Uh, let's take a look at uh, this line, uh, y equals 1 plus x. And of course, the slope of 1 uh, 1 is the same as 1 over 1, with the 1 on top representing the change in y, and the 1 uh, down uh, would represent the change in x. Uh, so what we're talking about is that uh, a change of 1 in x, if x changes by 1 going up, then y goes up by 1. That's how you get the 45 degree angle. And this is expected again because uh, that's what direct superposition problems are all about. Uh, both x and y increase and decrease by the same amount. Now, the effect of changing the value of k is pretty interesting. Uh, if, uh, if you raise the value of k, then the line as a whole moves up. Uh, to show uh, an example of that, let's take a look at these two lines. y equals 1 plus x, with k being 1. And here we have y equals negative 2 plus x, with k being negative 2. And you notice that as k goes from negative 2 to 1, so its value increases, the line as a whole moves up. Okay, so these are direct superposition problems. Next, we have inverse superposition. And inverse superposition problems are the ones uh, that have equations of the form y equals k minus x. For these, the graph is a straight line going down at 45 degrees. 
Uh, so here's an example of such a relationship uh, with k being 1. We have y equals 1 minus x. And you notice that the line is going down at an angle of 45 degrees. Uh, once again, for the 45 degree angle to show itself, you have to make sure that you have equal sized units along the x and the y axis. Uh, and that, uh, uh, if you don't, then your graph becomes either compressed uh, or uh, dilated. And uh, the slope of such a line is always negative 1. Uh, you can think of negative 1 as negative 1 over 1. And again, the top is delta y, change in y. So y goes down by 1. And uh, underneath, we have 1, which is the change in x, delta x. And that means x goes up by 1. Uh, and what that means is that when x goes up by 1, y goes down by 1. The effect of changing the value of k is the same as uh, direct superposition. The larger the value of k, the higher the line. As an example of this, we have the two lines y equals 1 minus x, with k being 1, and y equals negative 2 minus x, with k being negative 2. And you notice that as k goes from negative 2 to 1, uh, in which case its value increases, uh, the line as a whole moves up. All right, uh, next we have direct proportion problems. And uh, the equation for these is y is equal to k times x, with k being a constant. Uh, the graph is a non-vertical straight line going through the origin. Uh, here is an example of that with the value of k being 1 half. y is equal to 1 half x. So y is half of x. For direct proportion, changing the value of k rotates the line about the origin. The larger the value of k, the steeper the line becomes. As an example of this, we have the two lines y equals 1 half x with k being 1 half, and the line y equals 3x with k being 3. And you notice that as k becomes larger from 1 half to 3, the line becomes steeper. It sort of rotates about the origin uh, now, the larger the value of k, if you make the value of k very large, like maybe a thousand, ten thousand, a million, uh, the line just becomes steeper and steeper and steeper. It will never become vertical and it will never cross the y-axis. It just becomes steeper and steeper and steeper. All right, uh, now that we've talked about the uh, features of the graphs of the basic relationships, Let's see how we can combine them to come uh, across the, the most general kind of a linear relationship with the equation y equals mx plus b. Uh, such uh, equations have graphs that are non-vertical straight lines and the slope is m. Now I'm going to leave it to you to show that the slope of y equals mx plus b is m. Uh, find two points, uh, call them x1, y1 and x2, y2. Put them in the formula and see if you can work out m. Uh, now, for, uh, for these lines, as an example of this, uh, let's take a look at the equation y equals 2x plus 1. And the graph of this equation is here. This is the graph of y equals 2x plus 1. Uh, in order to show how we can combine superposition with direct proportion uh, to graph this line, you notice that this is not a direct superposition kind of relationship because the line is not going up at 45 degrees, even though I have equal sized units. And it's also not direct proportion because it's not going through the origin. Uh, but we can combine superposition and direct proportion and come uh, and generate this kind of a line. Uh, to do so, we begin with the equation y equals x. We always begin with y equals x in these kinds of arguments. Uh, and that equation is the red line over here. The graph of it is over here. Uh, y equals x, of course, when x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 2, and so on. And we get this graph. Uh, and now, if we... The next thing we would do is multiply x by 2. We would focus on this term, 2x. And if you take a look at what y equals 2x uh, looks like, the graph of it is here. Uh, we did mention that for direct proportion problems, which uh, both y equals x and y equals 2x are direct proportion, they go through the origin here. Uh, if you increase the value of k, in this case going from 1x to 2x, then you end up rotating the line. And in fact, because the coefficient of x becomes the same as the one in the blue line, the slopes are the same. And so they are parallel. Now next, once we have rotated the line so that it's parallel to the blue line, 
then we add the one and this this will raise the line it will raise the orange line uh, to blue line so you see y equals x the red line change 1x to 2x and you rotate the line and then add 1 to raise it thank you very much for watching this video everyone in the next videos in the next few videos i will be taking a look at some select nonlinear uh, relationships uh, these include inverse proportion uh, exponentials logarithms and roots. Take care and see you soon.